Hello and welcome to Screw It 1.3. This is one of our biggest updates, we've been working hard on it and I'm very happy to show you what are the cool new features that we got into this piece of software. Starting off with a new splash screen, now you can access Screw It Mirror or Four Points directly from the start screen, you don't have to dig into the app anymore, everything is better linked together and this is one of the super big main key changes, like the whole app environment just got extremely awesome. So when I tap up here in the info button, you're gonna see that here are like some more um, buttons to tap. One is for example, create albums. Create albums is basically saying right now when you're saving, you're saving to a screw it, mirror or four points folder. If you tap it once, gallery only, now you're only saving into your gallery. So I like to have like my, my pictures organized so I know which I edited. The other one is this here which is extremely nice. So right now we've added 16 different languages. You can choose yours and we are happy to add even more um, in the future. Besides that, not much change here Bes besides one secret thing which you're gonna have to find out yourself. So that's it for the splash screen. Now when we take a look at the Android info screen, you can see a different button which is called set directory. You can basically tell Screwit where to save the images. It's like on an SD card or on your device it's completely customizable. And the other button is the raw button. Um, by choosing the folder where your raw files are, we make 100% sure that you um, get all your raw files later on in our gallery. These are the main differences inside the info screen on Android. Now let's jump right into Screw It. I'm picking Screw It up here, and this is already my gallery. I could tap the sort button and make albums visible and not visible, dependent on what I want to see or not, just to have it clean and tidy. I like clean and tidy um, galleries. Or you can also tap and drag just to reposition it so you got your most important albums right there when you want them. So we go for the camera roll and start to edit the first image, which is going to be, I think I prepared one up here, this one. So by tapping it once, you now get into the preview, which is showing you a big size, full size image. You could also tap and hold or just tap it. If you're not lucky with the selection, you can swipe left or right to choose the, um, the next image. Or you can also tap the arrows, which do eliminate actually the animation. So you can, for example, like preview images better, which one could be better, compare them. It's super nice. Another cool feature inside preview is tapping the image. Right now I got a full access reader, which is telling me the file name, the camera I shot it with, shutter speed, aperture, everything like the most important info that you need to know if this is a good image. I really like this one, so let's import it. Visibly screwed 1.3 did not change that much, but what's really changed is what's inside. So we took each and every algorithm and enhanced it. This is why I highly suggest you should update from 1.2 to 1.3. It's really worth it. Now let's start with editing this image. How I usually begin is with a little lens correction because each and every image comes with a little bit of a lens distortion. Now we got here dedicated mobile, wide angle, fisheye or GoPro algorithms. I'll stick with mobile. So just a little swipe, that's it. Now I'm gonna check if the image is leveled. I'm gonna do so with the rotation tool. And how screwed is working is it's usually with this dial here at the bottom. So by simply swiping left or right, you can adjust all the adjustments in screw it. By double tapping, you reset it to zero. You can also tap the sides here to go into a higher precision mode. And if you really pay attention, see how slowly I'm moving. Screw it is really responsive, which is super nice. And I love how it came out. So now I'm just gonna zoom in and check if it's straight. I think this is looking quite nice. Confirm and here we go. So we now prepared the image for the vertical correction jump into the vertical correction filter and now pay attention. I, I'm, and now I'm going to pay attention to the sides here. So you see like this is it. This is nice. I'm gonna confirm. And what I like about this is how straight it is, but what I really don't like is how squeezed like this person here gets. It's, it just gets smaller because of the correction. We can easily fix that. And I can tell you something about another really cool feature and screw it, which is the auto cropping. You can see like, up here there's like way more image information than it is now. This is because Screwit is constantly and automatically cropping the image while adjusting it, but you can also turn it off and you can do so by pushing this button. So auto crop is off. 
this is what we've done so far and now to de-squeeze I'm gonna go into the ratio filter which is just stretching the image a bit in both sides so I can make it smaller or I could stretch it out and make it a little bigger this is what we're going for confirm and because now we switched off auto cropping we have to crop it manually so I'm gonna go into our crop tool um, pick my ratio which I want to have and by tapping dragging and holding the middle like with the plus I can move this frame around also by tapping and dragging with two fingers this is solving the issue that once you've like set the image and you zoom in you can't drag around or be more precise so by introducing these gestures this is way more fluent I'm gonna show you so let's start off again 3 by 4 and now I'm just gonna move it down all with the middle and now make it smaller but actually I can even like zoom in here drag it even further or if I like reposition the frame completely you should give it a try this is the best crop tool out there confirm and this is our edit with just two minutes and some adjustments we've like came from this super nice but bit crooked shot into an even nicer and super straight shot from here you can send it to mirror or to four points import a new image or save it to your gallery replace it with the original we made sure that you got this independent loop of whatever you want to within just the screen so you can stay and screw it or you can send the image or you can replace it or you can go within another app this is absolutely fabulous on our youtube channel we also got even more um, tutorials if you like to check them out feel free to and learn more about the software because we still got filters that we have not discussed just give it some time and you're going to find out super cool ways to edit with screw it all right i'm going to just quickly edit another image with you because i already got one in mind so it's this one here a nice drone shot import it first thing you want to do is rotate multiple tabs on the 90 degrees like multiple rotation easy next thing lens correction go to gopro and now correct this big fisheye effect before and after that's it confirm i like that already a little bit of a vertical correction some rotation and finish it with a little bit of ratio correction here we go before and after very easy very fast very quick I mean I really know this app by now because I made it but I promise like if you give it the chance you're gonna love it the same goes for mirror the same goes for four points all these are three very 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 precise and super cool um, apps which you should absolutely have in your editing arsenal even if this theme of basically perspective correction isn't the sexiest one because these are not filters but these are absolute fundamentals and everybody should know about this thanks for watching and now feel free to explore the app further